guys, John here. Does your Xbox ever sound like it's about to take flight? Yeah, it's usually the power supply or the uh, the DVD drive. Uh, in our case, it, it's the power supply. I'm going to show you guys how to fix that and get rid of that uh, jet engine sound from behind your uh, TV console. Okay, give me one second and I'll have it all set up for you. How to take it apart properly and put it back together. Now, normally right here, uh, on the feet there are normally little pieces of rubber or felt or something you have to remove those now mine are missing altogether because i just never put mine back on i didn't see the need so the first thing you need is a, a number eight a t t8 sorry a screwdriver and you're going to remove these four screws from the bottom of of the power brick okay so you pull it apart it comes apart fairly easily i mean there's nothing really clipping it together other than those four screws but re remember there's a, a wire connecting the mother por board portion to the other side so that the top part will usually just fall out like this and then pull it apart carefully but careful for that wire uh, if you pull too hard you will break it you can disconnect it from the other board though and i'll show you how to do that in just a second i'm just going to set this in here for a second and uh, move on to removing the screws uh, where the the fan is actually housed on the other side now you can remove the small screws to pull the fan directly off but i usually pull the uh the larger screws out first uh, for the reason that it's a little difficult to do when it's in your hand and it's easier to do while it's still in the body of the the power brick so you pull these two larger screws out there the two largest screws that, that you can see underneath that are on this piece of plastic on this side of the power brick pull those out and set them aside i usually put all my stuff all my screws and whatnot in a little cup so that way none of them fall out or a magnet or anything that you happen to have that's uh, that's going to keep them from getting lost or falling falling to the ground i'm going to pull out these uh the smaller screws with a smaller uh smaller screwdriver um, they should come out fairly easily uh, they're torqued in a little bit but it's just plastic and uh, there's no like cement or anything holding them in place but now that we got those off uh, the piece of plastic housing the fan should come off fairly easily it's not, again not glued in not clipped in it's just really setting there and the fan those larger screws are we're holding the fan to this top piece of plastic this little shroud um, and, and you got to be careful this little cable again um, it's, it comes through this little shroud I'm going to show you how to disconnect that cable. We probably should have done that to begin with. It doesn't matter though. It's not a big deal. So we'll go ahead and just literally just unclip it from the motherboard or from the main board from the, the power brick and it comes right off. It fits right through that little hole right there. Okay, now we just have the, the fan housing. Now, um, although you can blow it out and try to clean it this way, um, it won't get it fully, um, entirely clean. We have to uh, actually take it apart. So you can actually just do this really quick if you just notice a bit of dust or dirt, uh, just kind of wipe it off and you can put it back together and go from here. But I like to go a little bit further and make sure that it's silent for a really long time. So I'll grab a small screwdriver and you gotta make sure the bit is really, really, uh, sharp on it otherwise it won't fit in these little tiny screws that are in this fan the, the fan shroud okay now the top piece of plastic should just come off just like this you can notice a bunch of dirt and whatnot underneath uh, especially if you've had it for a while it should be pretty dirty uh, so just grab a very clean cloth uh, something that's cotton that doesn't leave any kind of lint i'm using uh, the kind of cloth you use for your computer screen or for your to clean a piece of glass or whatnot just something that's not going to leave any residue or film or uh, any any kind of lint behind because you want to make sure that none of that stuff goes back into the fan when you put it back together so i'm going to clean this all out uh, any any debris and, and move on to the the next part where i pull the fan apart pulling this this portion of the fan out you have to be really really careful with um you just pull it straight up it's magnetic and it's brushless so uh it's not physically connected with any kind of screws or whatnot you just have to pull it straight out and it should come out it'll it, it'll feel a little bit tight at first but it, it, it'll pop off um with no uh with no problems and will not damage anything from the fan and you're going to notice all the dirt and dust underneath it uh, you're going to want to take that same cloth and go through and clean every bit of it as well uh, as thoroughly as you possibly can um, don't use anything that's wet or or whatnot because um, there there are magnets inside and i'm not certain if they're coated and they may rust and it'll cause even further damage uh, later on or right off the bat so to make sure it's a dry cloth and just get in there and clean up every little 
detail of the fan if you can. I just clean off the areas, the surfaces that happen to touch other pieces of plastic uh, within the fan housing. Now before I put it back together, you can go ahead and put it back together at this point, but I like to use um, a little bit of grease. Um, I use lithium grease only because it's not conductive for electricity. Um, but it, it will uh, lubricate it very well. It's very, very light, so you don't need a whole lot. If you put too much and it gets on the electronics, um, it won't damage them, but it could gum up the works and you really don't wanna do that. So I just add a little bit along the outsides and it goes a really, really long way. So just put it on there and then kind of brush it through with your finger. Um, that should be sufficient, honestly. You really won't need much more than that. Okay, and then I like to uh, take a little bit of it and put it on the top part of the housing, the part that goes on the inside of the fan as well. Um, and that, that way, any plastic that happens to rub across the top portion and the bottom portion um, will hit this grease first and it'll allow it to uh, to slip as opposed to making that, that grinding sound we were he hearing earlier. And that's what it actually is, is that plastic on plastic and we don't really want that any longer. So that's why we are, we're doing this to begin with. So make sure you clean off any excess grease uh, that's on the inside of the ring right there because you don't want it to catch any dirt. On the stuff on the inside of the housing, um, it'll tend to keep most of the dirt out of it because uh, the way it's blowing, but at the same time, anything that's on the outside is going to accumulate a little more dirt than, uh, than you want it to. So now we just go ahead and do it in reverse, and we put everything back together, and, and we should be good to go. Make sure you don't miss any of the screws. Um, if you're if you have anything that's left over, uh, you, you did it wrong. Uh, make sure you put in every single screw and they all have to be tight. If they're not tight, and I don't mean crank them down because you'll break the plastic, but at least nice and snug. If they're not snug in there, uh, it will rattle loose and you're gonna get that grinding sound all over again, but from a different part. You're gonna get it from the, the loose rattle of the plastic. All of it has to be nice and snug. So now we're putting the, the the board back in and make sure it clips in nice and smooth it's gonna there's a, a little piece on the back side right over here where the the board clips in and then the the power cord is going to slide into this little slot right here and then we're going to make sure that the uh, the power cord portion on the other side slips into this little slot on this side uh, as well we don't want it to be loose or popped up any which which way it's got to be nice and snug it should fit right in you shouldn't have to force it um, maybe just a, a little bit of persuasion on the top part but not on the back the back side should slide right in there we put the screws back in and if you happen to, uh, to have saved the feet on yours, um, you can glue those back on or you can stick them back on or however you want to do it or, or grab another piece of something and put them back in there. But um, again, I don't have mine. I'm just putting the screws back in and I'm going to go plug it in and I'll be good to go. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, please go ahead and smash that like button as hard as you can with your Xbox controller, and if you're at all new to our channel, please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below, dudes. It helps us out a great deal, and it lets you guys know when we upload our videos. Um, until next time, guys, see ya!